agreeing on the why takes all the romance out of everything. It takes all the seduction. Seduction used to be an art. Now, of course, it's brutish and it's predatory and it's bad. Here's what consent is at Ohio State. After you and your partner decide that you're going to make out or have sex, you agree to do it. Then you agree. You have to agree on why. Consent is the act of knowingly, actively, and voluntarily agreeing explicitly to engage in sexual activity. Consent must be freely given and can be withdrawn at any time. You have to be sober, not coerced, imaginative, enthusiastic, creative, wanted, informed, mutual, honest, verbal. The absence of no does not mean yes. It must be asked every step of the way. It cannot be implied or assumed even in the context of a relationship. Circumstances in which a person cannot legally give consent, no matter what he or she might say, the person is severely intoxicated or unconscious as a result of alcohol or drugs, the person is physically or developmentally disabled, the victim is under the age of 13 or is elderly. So as long as the girl's 13, she can give consent for sex, provided it's creative and enthusiastic. Uh, consent must be freely given, can be withdrawn at any time, and the absence of no does not mean yes. How many of you guys, in your own experience with women, have learned that no means yes if you know how to spot it? I'm probably... I, let me tell you something. In this modern world, that is simply, that's not tolerated. That would not be, people aren't even going to try to understand that one. I mean, it used to be, it was a cliche. It used to be part of the advice young boys were given. But see, that's what we got to change. We, we, we have got to reprogram the way we raise men. So now, notice, why do you think permission every step of the way clearly spelling out why why do you is all these not lawsuits just waiting to happen 